uh, Vimal Kejriwal joins us now, management of uh, Case International. Uh, Vimal ji, good morning. Always a uh, pleasure to connect with you. The last year was a tough year for every steel uh, consumer. Whether it is a company like KEC or for example, you know, anything which has got to do with the metal consumption. But now that the bulk of the inflationary metal inflation is behind us, how do you see FI24 moving? So clearly FI24 is, do, do, is, is better for us in terms of both margins as well as I think on the order intake side. Especially with the steel and all other base metals also sort of stabilizing. I think we are in a better position to secure orders more comfortably and also execute more comfortably. Better. Is it largely because demand is coming back? Uh, yes, because if you look at the numbers, uh, Nikunj, last year we had an order intake which was almost 25-26% higher than the previous year. And even today we have an order, uh, I'll say tender pipeline of tenders which you have quoted, not yet awarded and tenders to be quoted of almost uh, 1 lakh crores which would be, you know, uh, quoted in the next three months or so across all the segments, be it TND, civil, railways. So clearly we are seeing a demand uh, coming back and slowly, I think uh, I had been a, a bit negative on private capex, but off late we have started seeing inquiries in uh, private capex also. Started seeing inquiries in private capex also, but uh, Mr. Kejriwal, what you did talk about in your analyst meet was the fact that you're expecting growth to come from civil. Uh, you're not expecting a mega growth from railways anymore and even TND is a bit sluggish, is that right? No, TND is not sluggish. We okay. didn't talk about TND being sluggish. Railways, yes, you're right. We have been around 3,700 crores of revenue for the last couple of years, even last year. Although our, our order intake grew significantly, but it was still at 2,900. So, uh, railways has been a bit of a laggard. I do hope that the infra expenditure will start improving on the, on the railway side. Uh, TND has been doing very well, surprisingly. Uh, last year we got orders of almost 4,000 crores in TND India. Uh, across the uh, business, you know, globally we got around 11,000 odd crores of orders in TND. And TND is primarily getting driven by green uh, renewables, whether it is for normal renewables or for the talk for green hydrogen. So I think TND is doing well. Civil is doing very well, actually, uh, especially uh, on the real estate side, the commercial side now and also the, the private capex. What is uh, the total order inflow like right now? So last year we had an inflow of around 22,000 crores. Hmm. Uh, this year we already announced 2,400 and odd crores and our target for the year has been around 25,000 crores. Uh, maximum chunk is going to come in from TND, is it? Uh, roughly around 50% and odd should come from TND, 30% from civil, 10 or 10 to 15 percent from railways and the rest from cables, oil and gas, etc. Kishwar, talk to me about the confidence that you have with respect to margins because you're talking about a double digit margin by the exit rate of FI24 and from there the margins are likely to expand 50 basis point per quarter. What drives this confidence? No, I don't think we talked about our post the next year 50 basis points. What we had said was that uh, H1 we should be around 6 percent from the current 4.8 what we had last year. And H2 which should be around 8%, so average 7% for FI24. And exit was close to double digit. We said anything between 9, 10 or, you know, somewhere around that. And we expected that FI25, we should be, you know, in, in double digit or so. That's the way, that's what we had said. Our past, that's what we understand. So where will the margin expansion come from? So, a couple of things. One, uh, Nikunji, is that last year we had uh, large losses in our Brazil subsidiary on EPC projects. Those projects have all been completed and now we have shifted back right now to all supply orders. So, that's one, one thing which is a negative part. Second is, as you rightly started with the steel price hike, so we had a significant negative on that part. So, typically our, our, our mar project margins vary from 8 to 12 percent. So, we will be back with that with all the losses uh, going away. Uh, I think the other pieces that our international TND has been doing well and logistic prices, logistic costs have stabilized. I remember that, you know, at the peak of it, logistics have gone up four times from what we had tendered. And now they are back. So we'll be back to normal margins. Uh, when commodity prices, they come down, it will be a pass-through. Which means, in a declining commodity scenario, the pass-through will have an impact on your top line. So while giving a guidance of a 50, 10, 15 percent growth, are you cognizant of the fact that if steel price and commodity prices when they will come down, 
your top line largely because of a pass through will get impacted yeah we are cognizant of that uh because typically if you look at it most of our international orders are fixed price and even in tnd this year a large number of orders are from substation which are on the tbcb side the green energy which are also fixed price so i think i i, I don't have the exact number around 50 to 60% of our orders right now are on the fixed price cycle so i don't see a too much of impact on on the on the top line because of the prices coming down Okay, so 50 to 60 percent orders are on fixed pricing, but uh, Mr. Kejriwal, I want a clarification on a couple of points. The collections which were due from Afghanistan, have they started trickling in? What's the timeline of that? And I understand that um, your term gets over in March of 2025. I know that it's still a one and a half year away, but what's the succession planning been like in the company? So as far as Afghanistan is concerned, that we have had, uh, we had said that we'll get around 200 crores in Q1. So we have got that money, not exactly in Q1, but we got the, the money in, in, in uh, yeah, sorry, we got part of it last year and part of this year. So we have got 200 crores, what we had promised. The balance uh, is is due from the contracts which are funded by World Bank and ADB and we are in constant uh, dialogue with them. Our expectation is that by the, before the end of this year, we will get the, the balance money. As far as succession is concerned, I think if you look at our business, we have got quite a few, at least six or seven businesses, each of them being led by senior leaders. So, and uh, some of them are, you know, if you look at TND, TND is more than 10,000 crores of turnover. So we have people and we are also looking at saying, should we hire from outside? But that's something which the board has to decide. It's still a little bit uh, away. Right. Uh, great to then have you on the show, Vimal. Uh, good speaking with you as always. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Okay, let's move on. Considering that the Nifty continues to be aloof off that all-time peak, we're currently absolutely flat.